How's it going guys? We are back with another video here and this video is actually a different one that you know I'm, I'm thinking about doing more uh, as the year goes on as well because the more cards that are released you know the easier and better that these team builds can be. So this video is going to be centered around Team USA. If you guys want me to do like a Team Canada one, Team Russia, Team Finland, Team Sweden. Let me know guys. Uh, this one just came to my mind. I was like you know what let me see if I can put a, a good USA team together here. And uh, I, I believe have good synergies as well. So, I mean, it's expensive. Don't get me wrong. It's definitely an expensive team build. But it's a very, very cool team. Uh, if, if, you know, if you're the type of person that's very hot rich, you're like, oh, you know, I'm bored. What do I do with my coins? I want to do something different. I want to, like, spice up the game for myself. Well, I got good news for you guys. I have a perfect team build for you. A Team USA build with, as you can see right here, Distributor, Spark, Speedster, Light the Lamp, Howitzer, and Gladiator, okay? So, having multiple synergies active, especially Distributor and Spark is really, really awesome right there, right away. Uh, and I thought, so basically what I did for this team build, obviously I could have selected maybe some other players as well, but I don't want to make it absolutely unattainable to make this team, essentially, right? I don't want to make this team so hard to get, that like, you just wouldn't be able to find them basically on the market, these cards, you know? Like, I want to make it that, like, you could actually build this team realistically in terms of you could find the cards. I mean, because some of them you can't find, right? So, uh, here we go. So, starting with the first time, we got Phil the Thrill Kessel. I mean, you got to have Kessel on the team. I mean, he's, a, he's an American legend, obviously. So, I mean, as you can see right here, he's a perfect, perfect build. Six foot, 202 pounds. His shot is absolutely endgame. It's literally 99 across the board. That's no joke right there at all. Um, his acceleration is at 97 with Spark active. His agility is at 97, 95 balance, 94 endurance, 96 speed as well. It's very, very good. Phil the Thrill is flying, flying, flying out there. It's an amazing, amazing skating stat right there. Again, his shooting we mentioned already. His hands are amazing, 99 across the board right there. Defense is, you know, kind of honestly pretty good considering. Botching is at 91 for a player that's not really the best at body checking in real life. I think that's a very, very good combination for him. His checking's okay, his, his uh, shot blocking's fine. This card's really, really underrated in my opinion, guys. Uh, 94 Phil Kessel, you don't even need to get the 94. We get the 93, that would be good enough as well. But uh, this Kessel is really, really underrated. I really do think so. Uh, and I think you guys would love using this card for the Team USA one. And then we got next up, 94 Awesome Matthews. I mean, you guys already know, this card's absolutely insane. I've, I've made a play review on this already on my channel. Uh, he's got the 96 speed with Howitzer and Spark active. 94 acceleration, 98 agility, 93 balance, 93 endurance. Again, the shot is 96, 98, 97, 98. That is super, super good. Um, can't really say many negative things about that. Uh, his hands are extremely, extremely good, all in the very high 90s. Uh, his defense is very solid as well. Dodging is at 94, strings at 97. Hard to knock this guy off the puck, certainly, which is always a plus as well. His checking's uh, also good. I mean, this this Austin Matthews card, I mean, he's he's up there. I'll, I'll put it like that. He's up there. Jack Hughes, I mean, I love this card so much. I've mentioned that so many different times, guys. Jack Hughes, MSP is my favorite card. Outside of, like, Lafleur and maybe Lemieux. That's about it. There are just so many, so many uh, reasons to love this card. I mean, his acceleration's at 99. His speed's at 98. I mean, those two stats alone are just going to make this guy wheel. And his shot's at 93, 96, 98, 95. So he can definitely snipe for you. And uh, it's a very fun card to use. I'll say that. A very, very fun card to use. His hands are at pretty much 99 across the board as well. Uh, defense is definitely uh, not the greatest. But, I mean, that's okay. I mean, you get a lot. He's a winger, mostly. I mean, you can play him at center in theory. But uh, mostly you want to play him on the wing. I think that'd be the best, you know, situation for Jack, I'd say, uh, in this game. He's definitely have Jack Hughes on the wing. And uh, he just provides a lot of just uh, fast play and, and just a fun card to use. Like I said, that's, that's really all you can ask for is have a... Have a fun card like that, all right? So let's move on to the next one here. Let's see. We got Jack Eichel, 90 overall edition. Okay, Jack Eichel, 90 overall edition. Howitzer, two points to it. Uh, 96 speed right there. This is a very expensive card because it's kind of rare. That's the only thing. It's kind of a rare card, uh, this Jack Eichel card. But his shot's good. 91, 94, 94, 94. It's definitely a higher Jack Eichel than this. But what I was really going for is, uh, you know, to just get the 90, right? Just to get the 90. Um, listen, the two to howitzer is very beneficial for this team build as well. So I decided that made the most sense. His face-offs are not really that great. So 75, put him on the wing. Uh, I think Zyko's card is awesome. Jeremy Roenick is awesome with the two to spark, two to speedster. 96 speed is very, very good. 93 acceleration. His shots, you know, could be a little bit better. 87 uh, slap shot accuracy. 94 slap shot power is wrist shot accuracy. Only 89 as well, but... 
still, you know, a good card, and uh, I would say the Savrona card is probably very, very fun to use. His face-offs are even not that bad, 86 as well. You could have no problem playing him at center. And I thought it would be a good line, you know, put together Ronick and Patty Kane, you know, Hawks alumni together. 93 speed on this Patrick Kane. 99, 94, 99, 94 as well for, uh, you know, for this Patrick Kane card. It's a very, very good card. Uh, again, he's going to really just provide a lot of just great, great, uh, just... Just hit mostly offense. I mean, that, that's what you can really expect out of this Patrick Kane's offense, and that's fine. You know, that's all you can really ask for, certainly. Okay, and then we got uh, the third line of Alex Tuck, Dylan Larkin, and Patrick Kane. Alex Tuck's an underrated one because he is a big boy, 6'4", 222. Uh, 90 speed, 90, sorry, 88, 96, 89, 93 for his shooting stats. I mean, Alex Tuck's a big boy, like I said, and that's that's important. Size is important as a forward, very hard to knock him off the puck. Uh, his hands are uh, solid as well, 88, 90, 89, 93, and 93. Uh, his defense is definitely, you know, solid, good buy checking stats. Strength's very up there as well. Um, good checking. You know, it's a fun card to use, certainly. Dylan Larkin, 90 overall edition. Uh, has no sins active, but he's a very fast player to use. 95 speed right there, 98 acceleration. Um, his shooting is also very good. You got 88, 90, 88, 9, 90. Um, that's uh, no joke right there. His hands are good as well. Uh, his defense is also extremely, extremely, you know, good, I'd say. Uh, but don't like it's a fun card to use. Zach Parise, you know, USA, just a great, great USA player. Uh, one of the all-time greats as well. He's got speedster active, 96 speed. His shot's up there at 94, 92, 94, 96 as well. Um... You just, you gotta love this card. You gotta love this card. Nice of him passing as well. Super, super good. Defense is also good. Um, his checking's fine. He's a great card. I mean, Peruzzi's awesome. I actually use him a bit. He's very fun to use. Troy Terry. The reason I have him is he has a two-to distributor, which is really nice. Also scored that famous shootout goal in the World Juniors, of course, if you guys remember that. Um, that's a very big goal for us. 89 speed. 89, 93, 92, 93 for shooting stats. Again, not the uh, you know the best shot, but a fourth liner, a fourth liner. I know he's expensive, but the two distributor is really going to make this a very very beneficial card. Um, good hands, good defensive stats. Uh, yeah, I mean honestly, just a great card. So moving on to the next card is Eddie Olchek Silver Icon. Not a very expensive card either, but a two to spark, a two to gladiator gets uh, both those active as well, which is nice. E9 speed again. That's why he's on the fourth line. You don't expect this guy to you know have the uh, you know the fastest card. That's for sure, but. 89, 94, 89, 91. Again, this is the fourth line. It's not, not going to be, you know, 99 shots. That's for sure. That's kind of the point, right? Um, but his hands are solid. Deacon could be a little bit better, but his passing's up there at 93. Uh, the, the defense is really good. Uh, even A6 faceoffs, which is really, really good for a fourth line center as well. Have good faceoffs like that. John LeClaire up there with Spark and 2 to Speedster, which is very, very nice. 90 speed right there. Uh, A7 acceleration, 86, 89, 88, and 96 for his shooting stats. Uh, you love to see that. I think that's very, very tremendous as well. Uh, his hands are solid. Defense is solid. Checking solid. And then we move on to the defense, all right? So defense, you know, it's a little bit weaker than the forwards, I'd say. But A9 John Carlson, due to the fact of having Howitzer and Distributor, those are amazing synergies right there. Um, he's got a solid shot at 85, 94, 86, 93 as well. 91 speed. And uh, his acceleration's at 89. So also very, very good stats there uh, on his uh, skating. And uh, his hands are really good, too. I mean, he's got great passing, nice of him passing. You can definitely sauce pucks through defensemen, and that's that's very key in this game, that's for sure. So, Brian Leach is a little bit scary because of his speed being only 87, but Brian Leach is an all-time great USA defenseman. He's honestly one of the greatest defensemen of, from USA ever. We could argue he is the best defenseman ever. Um, but amazing, amazing shot, though. 92, 90, 93, and 92. So, at least at least that's the thing. I mean, at least you, you got to admit that. Uh, that's definitely a really, really good uh, shot. Um, his defensive stats are fine. His hands are solid. Mostly an offensive D-man, but again, not the fastest, unfortunately. But Brian Leach is a great, great option with this, the two distributor and two light the lamp, which is very, very beneficial to get the distributor active. Seth Jones, 90 overall. Really one of the best USA defensemen in the game right now. He is absolutely, absolutely amazing, guys. Absolutely amazing. And uh, really is a fun card here. A fun card uh, to use here. And uh, Seth Jones is outstanding. Simply outstanding. Distributor, gladiator, 90 speed for a 6'4", 210 D-man is absolutely awesome. His shot's good, 86, 95, 86, 91 as well. His defense is really high. Bajing's at 97. Um, his hands are good as well. Checking's really good. And uh, yeah, Seth Jones is an awesome card. Then we pair him along with another young D-man, Quinn Hughes. 5'10", 170, but 96 speed on this card. That's no joke right there. 96 acceleration. The shot's very good as well. 90, 92, 91, and 91. Quinn Hughes is a very, very fun card to use. I love using him in NHL 20. I believe NHL 21, also a fun card to use. 
Uh, his hands are unbelievable. His passing 99, puck control 99. His card's absolutely a treat to use. Jeff Petra 89 overall. Another reason he's 6'3", 208. Howitzer, also a very, very good synergy. Acceleration's at 90, 93 agility, 92 speed, 95 endurance is also nice. 86, 93, 85, and 92 for his shooting stats. Uh, his hands are also, you know, solid. Uh, his defense is also very good. Uh, but Jeff Petra's an awesome card. And then also the Jack Johnson 89 overall. The reason I have him is also because of Speedster and Spark. Nice synergy combination, and also this card is fun to use. 93 speed, 82, 95, 83, nice end for a shot. Again, not the best shot, but good enough. Good enough, certainly. Um, defense is, uh, you know, good, very good. Um, his hands could be a little bit better, but that's fine. You know, he's, he's still going to, you know, be very fast at the 93 speed, and you can definitely uh, have a lot of fun with this card, all right? Moving on to the goaltenders. It's Ben Bishop and John Gibson. Bishop is, to me, the best goalie in the game. You can kind of use whoever you want, but I think Bishop would still be a better option than Gibson, just going to do his size, 6'7", 225. Gibson's, you know, 6... Sorry, G Gibson is... Uh, wait, why is it not showing me Gibson? That's is, is this a glitch or something? I'm not sure. But uh, regardless, guys, Gibson is uh, also good, and the coach is Fiddler, so we got those synergies active. And that is Team USA. I came up with this team. What do you guys think? Who would you have on this team? Let me know. Uh, but I appreciate you guys watching so much. As always, it means the world. Thanks for 19K subs on YouTube. I appreciate it a lot, guys. Uh, and as always, thanks for, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, and new to the channel. Follow me on Twitch, Henrique, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrique with three E's. Join the Discord to talk to me, followers, and subscribers of the channel. Remember to use code Henrique for 10% off your G Fuel orders, and I'll see you all in the next video.